Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, Day 4. Today we're going to talk a little bit about PySync. So this is kind of an integration between settings and contacts, a challenge about one more method to import contacts into your KW Command database. And so in order to do so, we're going to come up to the Settings dropdown, which we've been focused on the last three days, and choose Settings once again. And on our first day, when we started talking about connected applications, PySync should have been one that you connected. So you can click on Show Details. And right now, you can see I have a couple of different applications already connected. And yet, I wanted to just walk you through what that process looked like. So if I disconnect and I come back in and Show Details, you can see that I have the ability to connect more applications. Right now, I have iCloud connected. So I'm just going to disconnect that as well and just show you what it looks like to actually connect uh, PySync to your database. So let's come down here. I'm going to click on Connect Account. And it's going to go through the connection just like it did on day one. And it's going to pull up all of the applications. So here's the deal with billing on PySync. Your first connection is free and any additional connections to real estate CRMs is also free. Your second connection is 50% off of the PySync pricing. Okay, if you ever have questions on that, you can come to the question mark here at the top of your screen, command, click on that question mark, click on Keller Williams University and actually type in PySync, and you're going to get a variety of articles here. So the uh, first one, if you go through, you can kind of see here's my PySync and command FAQ. And then you can look at pricing as well. And this is a great little article that walks you through what the pricing looks like. All right. So we're going to go back in and show you again what that looks like. So PySync, I'm going to connect an account. It's going to show me all the applications. I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, Google Contacts right now. So here's Google Contacts. So I could choose that. Basically, it's going to say choose an existing account or add a new account. So I want to choose an existing account. Here's my kw.com account. It's going to say cool. You've got it connected. Now configure the sync. So I want to do that. And basically, it's going to say, okay, so we are configuring a sync between Google Contacts and KW Command. Right now, this is a two-way sync. That's why the arrows are going left and right. I could do a sync that goes just from Google Contacts into Command, meaning that Contacts won't be created in my Google Contacts from Command. I can also do the opposite. So I can say, hey, I just want to sync KW Command to Google Contacts. I have seen a lot of people, especially this time of year, want to export their database for use with mailing labels. Um, and this is one way that you could do that. You could take all of your contacts from KW Command, one way sync them into Google Contacts, and then utilize Google Contacts to create your mailing labels. But for right now, I'm going to do a basic sync two-way. And you'll see the next section says connection rules. All right, so this is kind of an if-then statement of what's going to happen with all of our contacts. If a contact is in Google Contacts, sync it two-way between Google Contacts and KW Command. Now, we can add a filter, and I would highly recommend this. I'm going to click on Add Filter. And then you can go through and look at all of the different ways. Okay, so if a Google contact, if a contact is in Google Contacts and has a phone number, right? So you can see then there's more filters in KW Command here, and you can scroll down and look through all of those. Okay, so let's say it, I want to say if a contact is in Google Contacts and has a phone number, that would prevent any contacts coming over from Google Contacts that didn't have a phone number. Okay, so if it's in Google Contacts and has a phone number, then sync it two ways. If I don't want to use that filter anymore, I can just click on this minus sign and it takes away that filters. Okay, you can also add actions. So I want you to sync it and then I want you to do something with it while it's in command. So I can choose a KW command action here and I could update the lead source right and I want to select a source and then I would come down and let's see if I can find Google contacts in this list that way it would show me all right perfect so now any of these contacts that come in from Google contacts are going to be synced and we're going to overwrite the source the lead source as Google contacts 
okay? So you also have the opportunity now, it's saying if a contact is in KW command, then also add it to my Google contacts. If you didn't want that, you could just turn this off, right? And now this is a one-way sync, okay? Or we could go in and turn it on, and this is a two-way sync. There are a lot of rules that you can go through, a lot of actions, and a lot of filters. So I would spend some time kind of looking through each one of these and really figuring out what you want to do. Okay, now I would be careful, right? There are some connection settings here to avoid duplicates. So it says only sync contacts that have an email address. The nice thing is that when PySync looks, or excuse me, when KW Command looks at that contact that is attempting to be um, brought in, it's going to say, okay, do we or do we not already have this email address in KW Command? And if that email address already exists, then it shouldn't create a new contact, okay? It also says sync contacts to the main contact folder in Google Contacts, meaning if I'm bringing anything over from KW Command, it's going to put those contacts from KW Command in my Google Contacts main contact folder. Okay, you can also say, all right, if I'm going to delete anything in KW Command, well, then I want to have a folder in Google Contacts called PySync Trash. And that way, because it's a two-way integration, if I'm deleting somebody in command, it's also going to delete them in Google Contacts, but it's not truly going to delete them. It's actually just going to move them to a group called PySync Trash, and that way you can make sure that you truly meant to delete those out of your Google Contacts group as well. Finally, it says when we initially match up contacts and a field's value is different, who overwrites? Okay, so is it the value for KW command? or is it the value from Google Contacts? And it says this is relative, relevant, excuse me, for matching contacts that sit in your apps prior to syncing, where PySync needs to know which information to keep moving forward, okay? Next section is field mapping. So if it says this in Google Contacts, where do I want that piece of data to show up in KW Command and vice versa? Okay, so it kind of goes through and puts it in already for you. You can see job title is title profession, company is company. You can also come down and add some additional field mapping. So you can choose a field in Google Contacts if there were some in here, right? So let's see, is birthday already mapped? Birthday is not mapped. So if you have their birthday in Google Contacts, you could say, all right, I want birthday to show up in birthday. And there we go. Uh, for some reason, I guess we can't write to that field, uh, which that's a first. So not sure exactly why that won't let us do that, but we'll go ahead and delete that rule. If there were, let's say, well, let me see. Let's say write only. Does that let me get it in there? There we go, now I can get birthday. Okay, so I needed to do write only, not read only. Okay, so here's birthday write only. Uh, these two fields can only be mapped one way. Why? Um, fields cannot be modified in the application you are syncing. Okay. So basically it looks like we can't sync that into KW command. It's a growing process, right? So we kind of learn as we go through each one of those field mapping. All right, so once you kind of get everything set up, you play with the fields a little bit, make sure your field mapping looks good. You could click on start syncing now. Basically it's gonna say, hey, if you've already done this before, if you've built in a third party integration, please disable it because otherwise contacts could be duplicated. It's also important that you remove duplicates before proceeding with the synchronization. This will prevent duplicates from being synced from one system to another. Please note that once a sync is running, PySync will not delete contacts for you, and then you can go through the five quick steps to prep your data, right? So here's some information to go through, make sure everything looks good, all right? Once I'm done with that, I click on start syncing and basically you can see down here, it's gonna save, then boom. Here's new Google contacts, new KW command contacts, update, update, and down here at the bottom, you're gonna see it's scanning and it's gonna start running through all of my Google contacts and this will grow out to a point where I can start seeing all of the information that's coming over that failed, that was excluded, that was a duplicate, and then what actually synced and uh, came through, okay? So I'm actually gonna pause this for right now. I already have that one running, or had it running, and I've already done it, but I'm just gonna pause it. If you wanna do that, you could pause. Anytime, you could come back and hit resume as well. So 
a pretty cool ability to take contacts from one application and move them into another. If you click on show details in your settings here and connect more, again, you can go through and see all of the various applications that are available to be synced. Um, I would just be careful, right? There, some of them work really, really well. Some of them don't work quite as well. Um, and you just have to be careful for duplicates. So um, I have not tested them all. I can't tell you which ones work and which ones don't work. Um, you know, you might want to just run the, the, um, the sync until you get a few contacts coming over. Pause it. Double check those contacts that just came over. Make sure they aren't duplicates, that everything looks good. And if everything looks good, then you can unpause it and keep running the sync from there. Okay. What I would not do is sync it and forget it, come back the next day and unfortunately have issues with duplicates. Okay. So um, I would stay on this. I would be active in command while it's starting to go through the sync process, check in on it every now and then just make sure uh, that it looks good by pausing, check the few contacts that have come over and then go back if you'd like it and run the rest of the sync. All right, guys, that's today's challenge, day four of the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week and looking forward to an amazing Thanksgiving. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much.